<laughs> Odin, why? Why do you do this every time? Go sit down. Come over here. Sit down. Every time I try to do a video, Odin comes in. Anyway, hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> He's right here now. So today I'm going to be doing a old school video. I'm going to do a what's in my bag. I still love these. I know that people don't do them very often anymore, but they're still my favorite and they help to show me... <laughs> Stop. Come here. <sighs> okay, sorry. They help to show me what fits inside bags, kind of like whenever... I'm considering buying one. So whenever I was like obsessing over the Pachette Matisse, I watch a ton of what's my bag videos and like videos, reviews, everything. So I think they're really helpful. <laughs> so I'm going to be doing a what's in my bag hold in with my Pachette Matisse. And I do have a box right here. This is actually the box that it came in right here. And I'm going to set it here so that when I pull everything out, you can see it coming out. And I think that, I don't know, I enjoy watching it that way. Okay. You're going to have to move. I love you, but you're in the way. Can you sit down? Sit. Sit. Odin. <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> okay. So I've done a few videos on this. This is my Pachette Matisse and the Emperant Noir. Um, and it's just, you know, with the imprint and Louis Vuitton on it. Um, I took off my black strap, just the crossbody one. I did wear it last night because we went to see Paw Patrol live and yeah, that was fun. But, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, I wore it crossbody. It was super comfortable. I don't think that the crossbody strap on this one is really that wonderful, but to just, you know, be able to throw a crossbody and it still not be really helpful helpful not be really heavy is is really nice like whenever I use like um my speedy 30 bandolier it's it hurts it's too heavy just most things that I own if I do a crossbody it just doesn't feel good on my clavicle so I found that that one still isn't wonderful but it's not so bad it's, it's not as bad as the other ones are so if I had to pick one I would say that that strap isn't isn't like terrible but do I want to wear it like that every day no. So if I was going to go shopping all day, I probably wouldn't wear it. I would probably prefer this strap. So I did buy this one separate. It's just the monogrammed Louis Vuitton strap. It's canvas on one side and it's leather on the other. Um, I've had a lot of people say that they like the combination, but they want it to be crossbody. And um, they do sell the same one. It's in an XL, so it is longer and it's crossbody. I don't know how long it is. And then they also have another one that they came out with it after I bought this one and it's adjustable. So it can either be on your shoulder or you can make it crossbody. I can't remember if there's a piece that comes out of that one or if it just adjusts, but yeah, it's on their site so you can check it out. But anyway, I've been wearing it with this and I really like this the best because I feel like I like where it hits and I just, I really like how thick the strap is and it's just really comfortable. Um, I don't have it in here right now, but in this back pocket, I only put my phone and I have the iPhone 7. I do have it right here, so this is what it looks like when it's in here. I don't zip it up, but you can, and it doesn't make it like, too big or anything, but yeah, so I just put that back there. All right, now to pop it open and show you what's inside. So let me just set this right here. So this is what it looks like right now, and, and I'm going to start with the front pocket. So in the front, I've got a shopping list because I went to the grocery store today. And I actually got everything on my list. Got my Victorine wallet. This is the one with the, I think it's actually just the fuchsia um, button. Yeah, I love this wallet. It's amazing. And every time I post about it, someone asks me how it's holding up. And mine is, knock on wood, but mine is holding up amazing. And I love it. And then the only other thing I have in there is the Honest Hand Spray or Hand Sanitizer. Moving to the middle, and this is the biggest compartment. So I've got my Louis Vuitton Atrepe Raves. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Um, no one's told me exactly how to say it, but that's what it is. It's, it smells really good. Oh, I love it. Oops. And then I have my Buxom lip gloss and hot toddy, always. 
Bath and Body Works Hyaluronic Acid Hydrating Hand Cream. I heard that hyaluronic acid does really good things and I know that it's mainly for your face so I don't know what it does for your hands but it smells really good and I think the scent is water. I've got my regular glasses in here and then just kind of sitting in here not in anything was my Paula's Choice Lip and Body Treatment. I've talked about this oh my god oh so many times. It looks like this. So it's just like a balm, but it um, feels amazing on your lips. There have been a few times I put it like on my knuckles, but since we've moved out of um, Colorado, they don't bleed like they used to because it just gets so dry there because the air is just so dry and I used to get bloody knuckles. But um, yeah, they're still healing from all of that, but they're doing so much better. But if they slightly feel dry, I put that on there and it feels really good. And then the last thing I have in there is my mini pochette. Okay, so I know I had said several times that these were stupid, waste of money, and I still don't think that they're like amazing. Like everybody says, there's nothing amazing about them. They're itty bitty, but if you're using something like this or if you're using a small bag, like whenever I use my Palm Springs PM, it is, it is very handy because I can't put you know, my pochette accessoire in there because it's just too big. I mean, I could just throw everything in this middle pocket and I might eventually do that because this is truly pointless. But if you saw the inside of here, you would understand why I do this. So in here I've got um, the uh, sunscreen. Um, Miranda said that this looks like a condom. It is not. This is sunscreen. This is what it looks like. It is not a condom. Um, I've got a tampon. I've got my husband's firefighter coin that I always carry with me. I've got one, two, three, four hair dealies in here. Two, three of them are the Invisibobble ones, which I love still. But lately, honestly, I've been wearing these silk ones that I got. And yeah, they're really nice. And then I've got the sloth from my friend Amy. The, I think this is called Hush Hush. It's also buxom. Whenever I originally tried the Hot Toddy, it was a Hot Toddy small one and it came with Hush Hush and then it came with another lipstick that sucked. But I really like this one still and I will use it as a lip liner and then I use Hot Toddy all over. And it's kind of nice because if the lip gloss wears off, this doesn't stay there. So you don't, you're not left with like lip liner lips and no lipstick. So I don't know, I really like it. And then I've got an eyeliner that honestly I never use and it's actually broken. Like why is this in here? I don't know. But yeah. And this one's tart. I think it's called Sex Kitten. Yeah, Sex Kitten. But I mean, the eyeliner's still good. But I just keep it in there just for a... I don't know. I don't know when I'm ever out that I need eyeliner. But I feel like I need to have it just in case. Because there might be that one time that... I just completely look like shit and I need to put it on. I don't know. And then the last things in here are three bobby pins. This one sucks. That's a regular one. But these, I can't really show you a close up because it won't focus. But I got these at Target and they came in one of the normal packs. Like you get bobby pins in, you know, those big packs and they're like $3.99 or so. But they, these are matte black, which that's not why I got them. But they are soft. So like they feel the same as other ones, but like if you rub it, they don't, they're not like, I can't explain it. They've got some sort of something on it that makes them soft. So whenever you put it in your hair, it doesn't scratch your head. Whereas this one in here, I don't know why this is still in here, but whenever you put it in, it tends to like scratch your head. So I don't know, I really like this. And that's all I have in here. Like I'm going to try to show you like what it looks like in here. I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not, but it's freaking dirty. Like, can you see this? I don't know why, oh yeah, you can see right there. I don't know what I got all over this thing, but it's, yeah. Gosh, I got something all over there, I have no idea. But that's kind of the reason why I've been keeping this in there. It's not that I'm afraid to get my bags dirty and everything, but that's the stuff that I always have in here. And imagine if I just had that like floating around any of my bags, it would be dirty like this. And I, I don't know which thing it is that's doing that, 
and it's not my eyeliner because it's it's closed it there's no way to open it it's like a long opening thing so I don't know I don't know but all right so that was it there and now I've got this pocket right here and in here I just have things it's like shoved back there I've got oops, some Orbit gum got two scrunchies oh, and they smell good they smell a mixture of the gum and my Nirvana black perfume I've got a coupon for oatmeal another coupon for a ranch my new favorite pen that I got it says don't be cute don't pollute and it's mustard but and it's got a little stylus on the bottom that I don't use, but I got this from the aquarium in um, Georgia, or in Atlanta, in Georgia, in Atlanta, Georgia, like duh, but um, yeah, I love that pen. And then I have a Target receipt from yesterday, a receipt, oops, two receipts from Hobby Lobby, don't need that anymore. One from Walmart, don't need that one anymore. And then down there I've got, what is that? Oh, an Ebates check. An Ebates check. I forgot. I don't actually think that I have deposited that. I think I tried to deposit it, but my phone was not, was not working correctly with it. And I've got a Dave & Buster's card and a Lowe's receipt. What did we get at Lowe's? A lot of stuff. Oh, this is whenever we got... We mulched our front yard. And then the last thing I have in there is dollars. So I've said this many times, I don't spend my dollars. I actually use the money that I was saving. <clears throat> so for a long time, I haven't been using dollars and a lot of times I don't use fives. But every time I get paid, I pull out cash. And I try to pay with cash, but then if at the end of, you know, before my next pay period, um, the next time I get paid, if I have anything left, any cash left in my wallet, like 20s, anything, I take it out and I put it in that box. And so I ended up with a ton. Like I even had to take, I had so many ones, I had to take them to the bank and cash them in for 20s and stuff. So yeah, that was fun when I was done. I recommend doing that if you can because it's just fun random spending money so it was fun that's it that's all that i have in here this pretty gray interior and let me show you it is yeah not easy to close this when it's empty but i have loved this thing i can't believe how much i've loved it and i just kind of randomly now have a random like want to use something else i'm not sure what i want to switch into i might switch into my iana I anus <laughs> or maybe my mon monogram speedy I don't know you know I don't know if you ever just get like an urge to use like a big flappy floppy big floppy bag that's how I feel right now I just kind of I was using the small one and I just want to use something bigger I have found using the small one <laughs> that I really don't need everything that I think I do but um my one downside of this is it doesn't hold certain things that I take to the gym. So I don't want to put my lock in there because it, it takes up too much space. And I don't want to put like all my face stuff that I take to the gym. So whenever I'm done and I have somewhere to go, like if I work out, if I do a class or just whatever, and when I'm done, if I have to go to a game, if I have to go to the grocery store, just like anything, I have to wash my face. And I either wash, like I carry in that bag, I, um, a Polish Choice little travel face wash and I have a Polish Choice travel um, lotion and face wipes. So kind of depending on what we're doing, like if we're quickly going to the grocery store, I'll just use the wipes. But if we're actually going somewhere, like if I know I'm going to be at the games for a while, um, I will actually wash my face. And I carry them in my rough and tumble little pouch that I have, the cash pack pouch. And that doesn't fit in here either. So that's kind of a down, downfall that those don't fit in there. So I carry those in a little bag that my friend Amy made me. And I love it. But that's kind of a downfall for this that they don't fit in there. And sometimes that's annoying. I mean, it's whatever. But I kind of like to be able to go to the gym and carry everything in my actual like 
bag. I don't like to carry, you know, this along with something else. It's just kind of, yeah, it's just annoying. But, I don't know, besides that, I love it. But yeah, right now I just kind of want to use something bigger. I don't know, that's stupid, but yeah, that's it. So I will see you guys next time. I'm so good at pretending.